OK, so we're going to look at adding a border to our image by extending the document's canvas. So I've got here a typical document with a bit of a layer workflow going on above the original image. So what I can do is go to Document and Resize Canvas. And then on the dialog, importantly, I want to set the anchor point to the center point here. So that ensures the canvas will be resized equally between all four sides. Then I want to switch the units to something like inches. And it just makes it easier to work in when we're typing in values. Then also I want to unlock the aspect ratio here. So I can then say add an inch to both the width and height. So I'll change this to 49 and change that to 37 and then click resize. OK, so far so good. So we've got an inch worth of border running all the way around the image. Now we want to fill this border. So it's easiest if we select the bottommost layer to begin with. Then we want to go to Layer and New Fill Layer. OK, so we'll just ignore the fact that it's blue for a minute. This is because in this document I've been doing some pixel colouring work and my previous colour was set to this blue. You may find if you haven't been changing the colours around that your fill layer will be complete white. Either way, you just want to click drag this underneath the background pixel layer. So the fill layer is now the bottommost layer. And I'll then change this colour to something like a, a near black and give it a slight blue tint, like so. OK, so that's one approach for extending the canvas and adding the border. Now, if we want to add some layer effects, Obviously, we can't do this at the moment because we've got all this layer work going on. So I'll show you a slightly different approach. I'll just roll the history back all the way. Select the topmost layer. And now what I want to do is go to Layer and Merge Visible. So what this will do is create a flattened pixel layer with all of this work pre-rendered. OK, good, there it is. So then, with this pixel layer selected, I want to go to Edit and Copy. And then I want to go to File, New from Clipboard. And the reason we do this is just to keep it clean. And this lets us break away from all of that complicated layer work that's been going on. So we do the same as before with this new document. We go to Document, Resize Canvas. Set the anchor point to center. Change the units to inches. Uncheck the aspect ratio lock. And then we'll type 49 and 37, like so. Click Resize, and there's our border. So as before, we go to Layer, New Fill Layer. And you'll notice I started a new document, so the color panel is set to its defaults. Therefore, I now have a white fill layer. I drag that underneath, and there we go. There's our border. But this time, because I've flattened all that work, I can select a single pixel layer, and then go to the Effects panel and add layer effects. So I can, for example, add some outer shadow. And you can experiment with these layer effects, depending on what type of look you're after. So there we go, a couple of approaches for extending the document canvas to add borders. I hope that was helpful and has given you some ideas. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums. And don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.